flip it and reverse it. 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 Okay. Sugar baby. Nice whip. Nice crib. Nice I want this. I want that. He give it to me. inches in my head don't play with me I am not one of them don't play with me I am not one of them hmm. no I'm not even going to try and impress y'all too much because y'all know I'm pressure don't play with me excuse my background y'all know I be moving around a lot and my luggage is open i haven't organized it yet and i'm not even about to because i'm about to go to hawaii and i'm just not even finna fool with it right now so but as you can see i did my hair you like it yes or no i hope y'all do love it just wanted to get y'all at a better angle where you can see all the lighting on me and my hair you know <laughs> i just love this hair this makes me feel so feminine so beautiful it just makes me feel so like just luxurious you know just long hair long nails long money don't play with me long life <laughs> long what else long life long beauty long lashes <laughs> don't play with me but what i will do is flip it and reverse it <laughs> I was my thing thing because I ain't did that in a minute, honey. But yeah. <laughs> got these big sausage lips. But basically, I just want to show y'all how I maintenance my 40 inch bundles that I have colored, you know, because I'm pretty sure girls is, you know, want to try to get like this. And I want you to know how to do it the right way. First of all, you need to make sure your hair is grown out because you do not want to have short hair and be bleaching your shit. You let your hair grow first and then bleach your shit because I used to do that and that's the only reason why my hair used to fall out because I kept bleaching the hair that was already blonde. So don't keep bleaching the blonde, honey, because it will fall right off. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to show you how I wrap my hair and how it looks when I wake up. I'm use my go cap, my brush, and some oil sheen. So I'm just gonna spray the oil sheen at the top, all the way down the bottom, like so. This is what's gonna help your hair be all nice and silky when you wake up. Cause I don't like to put too much heat on my bundles. I'm honestly about to get me some um, cold rollers, whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called, honestly. Oh, and also I'm brushing it wrong. So when you have hair like this, Brush it from the bottom. Start from the bottom and work your way up. And what I mean from the bottom is start from the bottom. So you're gonna start from the bottom, just like so. Make sure you get it all brushed out the bottom first. And then just move yourself up. And use a sulfate-free shampoo, gluten-free, everything paraben-free. Honey, get you a nice vegan shampoo. Um, I got mine from the beauty supply. I have a lot of different shampoos I'm gonna do. If y'all want a, you know, a morning shower vlog and stuff like that, let me know. I'll do one. But for this vlog, I'm really just showing y'all how I maintain my bundles, honey. Like, it's not even a vlog. What is it, chit chat, honey? So these are all of the shampoos that I use in my extensions. I use my She's Happy Hair Shampoo and Conditioner. I absolutely love the way they make my extensions feel. I love my Suave Professional Sulfate Free Cleansing Shampoo as well. You can buy this if you do not want to purchase the She's Happy Hair um, Shampoo. It's pretty much kind of the same, but they do use different ingredients, but they are sulfate free. 
I love my olive oil conditioner. And because I used bleach and blondes in my hair, I use my Shimmer Lights shampoo, which is great for blonde and silver. It enhances the hair color. And then I also have the Shiny Silver Ultra Conditioner color enhancer as well. These are all great grabs if you have extensions and if you have color treated hair. And then now you can brush here. So, and don't forget this side needs to be slick as well. So just got them all the way around. And get the back too. Bam. And then again, if you're gonna brush, brush from the bottom. Cause you will pull the hair out, especially because it's already been bleached. Um, it won't come out bad, of course, but you want your bundles to last you at least a year, especially if you have them like I do. Cause you know, honey, this is not cheap. So you don't wanna be rough with your shit and um you don't need no lead guy or nothing just grab it from there you see how soft and nice it is grab from there and start twisting twist it then roll it and then where you rolled it at grab it and twist it get your brush Make sure everything stays nice. Twist, twist, twist. Wrap it. Oh. Make sure it ends. It's really nice because matters to me the most is how my ends look even though it's uh, five bundles I have in my head the ends still are a little bit thinner it's real full at the top but at the end of course it's just naturally gonna be thin like that um, and I kind of like that look but you don't want it to look dry so that's why I like um, certain hairstyles where I don't necessarily have to use heat I like the straight hair look but um, more than anything I like my crimps I love my crimps and I love my curls A profession now with it. A professional now, honey. You gonna need your hair wrap? Hit me up at five 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 eight two eight two. Five two eight two. I'm joking. I got these baby hairs too. This fan for five dollars from Dollar Tree. Y'all know I love me some Dollar Tree. I don't know why. I just always find good, cool shit. Like you see, I found these, the headphones. I always got. I'm gonna take this to Hawaii with me. I was gonna get my friend one, and guess what? It was all gone. Of course, five dollars, and it's a charger. You don't gotta put battery in it. I use it for my lashes. For my wig, my weave sometimes. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this too. It's not that pretty. Let me look at myself sometimes. I got a little tattoo. I got a tattoo today. It says in Arabic, let he who has not sinned cast the first stone. I love it. It goes with the whole little theme. Damn 
I just woke up. I accidentally took my hair down before <laughs> I turned the camera on. But so this is what it looks like when you take the bonnet off. And then you just voila. <clears throat> just like that. Good. I like it. Here are my babies. My dogs have to pee, so I'm just gonna brush down. Oh yeah. No, not much heat needed from here, so I'm gonna take my dogs out. All right, y'all. So I'm about to head to the beauty supply. I just came to the gas station real quick. I'm going to the beauty supply so I can get me some rollers for my hair because I don't want to put any more heat on it. And I also got my mask. This is my new mask. I'll be selling these at my boutique. I did have some of them, but they're sold out, of course. All the ones that I had got all bought up. I'm only going to have this color black because I've noticed when I have a more selection, it's hard for people to choose, but I'm an influencer and people are influenced by what I have and black is the color that I like. So I know if I like black, y'all are going to like black and it's so cute on. I'll have them in stock next week. So yeah, honey, shop with me. I'm gonna go and get me a little snack out of here though because girl, I'm starving. God damn it. <laughs> oh my goodness, life is hard right now. Life is difficult. It's hard out here for a pimp. Honey. It's hard out here for a pimp. Got me some street tacos. Girl, I gotta pick the weave up to get in the car. I got me some street tacos and some of my favorite drink, Gloria's. This is my favorite drink in the whole world. I love Gloria's. It tastes so good, and girl, it gets you lit off of just that. And now I'm gonna go to the beauty supply, but I'm actually gonna sit here and eat my tacos first because I have my egg yet. And child, I'm hungry. And y'all, I'm so excited. I got approved for my second credit line, which is really, really dope. I wanna show y'all my card just because like, first of all, honey, like this is not a regular card. Like, do you see that? Like, I wish you could feel it. Like this card feels like metal. But I'm so excited I got approved for my second credit card. My first credit card I had was a smaller limit. This credit card is a bigger limit. And I love my credit cards because it's like a loan. Some people be looking for a sugar daddy to give them money so they can start a business, etc. Honey, I waited for my bank to give me some money so I could invest more into my businesses. Of course, my sugar daddies um, invested in my businesses at first but now that i'm at the um, point in my life where you know i have good money i have good credit i don't necessarily have to ask my sugar daddies for you know any money hold on this is bothering me like that little piece right there is bothering me i'm a perfectionist when it comes to my hair when it comes to any my hair is like really important to me but anyways and now I ask my bank for loans and baby, they give it to me because I know I'm going to pay it right back. But I'd rather use my bank's money first and my money second because I know I could pay them back. And at the end of the day, I'm trying to have a great relationship with my bank. My bank is my pimp, honey. I take my money to my pimp all the time, a.k.a. Chase Bank. Instead of giving your money to a pimp, give your money to the bank, honey. Get you a credit card. Get you a debit card. I didn't get no motherfucking fork and I got rice and beans. I'm gonna eat my taco first because I ain't got time to get out. I'm hungry. This looks good. I got street tacos. Cheers, honey. Mm. Mm hmm. These tacos are better than the ones in Mexico. It don't make no sense. To 
the beauty supply we go. Put the bottom to my hair are cute, but I like them to just look really nice and silky. Oh shit, oh shit, I'm sliding. And I had an attitude with the lady in there, but only because she asked for it. She came up to me and asked me if I could leave my umbrella up there at the front, I guess because they don't want water all tracking through the building. And I was like, yeah, here. And she just looked at the umbrella. I was like, you can take it up there. I'm not gonna walk all the way up there just to bring my umbrella up there. I'm getting this. And I'm, I'll be up there in a second. She just looked at me like, what? You want my umbrella up there? Take it up there then. I'm not gonna walk all the way up to the front just to drop my umbrella off and come back and finish my shopping. No, I'll be done in a minute. I just got these. I hope this is enough. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I think that's all I should need. Because I'm only gonna be curling my the bottoms of my hair. I'm not gonna be doing the whole thing, just the bottom. So this should definitely be enough. We're gonna make it enough. What the fuck is you saying? Oh no, I'm gonna need more. I'm gonna need more. But I'm about to park right there and go back inside. I gotta have more. I'm not even gonna put my umbrella because I don't really hear her mouth. I'm just going to go in here real quick. Leave my and I'll be right back. Hell to the knob. Oh my God. I'm sitting on my hair. It is hard out here right now. Oh my God. I'm sitting on my hair. <laughs> clients out here in Dallas only because I've been moving around so much but I finally started taking clients out here in Dallas again and um, I seen a client yesterday honey he gave me $600 mm -hmm. and no that's not the money I'm spending right now I'm just spending my credit card money right now but I thought that was so dope he had scheduled um, an appointment for it was 220 a massage for 220 but he ended up giving me six hundred dollars, and I was just like, "Oh my god, am I really that pretty?" He was like, "Girl, you worth it," and I was like, "I know, I know that's right." And I have another appointment tonight. Hopefully, it goes the same way. And see, a lot of girls have to understand while doing massages, don't be trying to hit people over the head because if you are good, if you're a great masseuse, you will get blessed. Like somebody will come and tip you really good. Hold on, let me see what they got up in here. I'm gonna go in there real quick. Cause we're going to Hawaii and I don't, I'm not wearing the same clothes that I wore to Mexico. So I'm gonna go in here and see what he got. Like a little boutique. And then I'm gonna go to, um, I don't know, I'll go to Zara and Papaya. Zara, Papaya, PacSun are my favorite stores to go to in the mall. I um, mean, Ross, I don't even shop at Ross. like. The last video, I honestly was just at Ross just because it was last minute and I know Ross has bikinis. So I just went there for my bikini and I just happened to see some other cute ass shit there. I'm just gonna grab probably like, I'm, only, I'm gonna be there for a week. So I'm not gonna bring a week's worth of new clothes, but of course I'm gonna take a few pictures in new outfits. Don't play with me. Let me get my keys. <laughs> Time. 
right, mission accomplished. Got four new outfits for, for Hawaii. I only spent a hundred dollars, so that was good. I got this cute, like, dash, dashiki dress type African print. Y'all have seen these, I'm sure. It, like, goes like that. I just wanted this. That way, like, if I'm on the beach or just, like, walking around, I could wear this. And I've been wanting one. And it's just really cute. It gives it a nice beachy feel. And then I grabbed these. I'm sure y'all have seen this print everywhere. I got the shorts with the top and I like this set because um, in Mexico we didn't do any activities mainly because we didn't want to we were just there to relax we didn't want to work up any type of sweat so out here in Hawaii we'll be doing activities and I feel like this is a good activity fit I could wear these um, I could wear my Air Forces with this or some dice, like really just cute sandals. And then I got another very, very cute beachy fit. It comes with these flare, like they're almost like capris because they don't go all the way down. They're like very flary at the bottom. It's like a really cute fit. And then it's got this cute top for it this cute top so it's gonna look like you know very very cute very airy and then I got me a fabulous outfit I seen this cover-up and then I remembered this is a cute little cover-up and then I remember I seen a yellow dress and so I got the yellow dress in a large I probably should have got a medium but um, I'm actually gonna, oh wait, he only had larges. There were only large, so I couldn't go down to a medium. Um, I know it looks really big, but I feel like I could fit into it. I'm gonna try right now, because if I can't fit into it, I'm gonna take it back in there. Let me see. I don't usually get large dresses, but everything I got here is large, mainly because I'm a big, I'm a big girl. Um, and bottoms, I need a large for bottoms. I learned that a long time ago. I cannot wear a medium because then I have a muffin top. And um, so that's gonna fit, I know it. These are gonna fit, I know it. This is a small medium, I know that's gonna fit. And this is just gonna fit regardless. It's just this dress, I'm about to try and see. Um, which it should fit. I don't want it to be too loose though. Oh yeah, it fits. And I just didn't want it to be too tight either. So, uh, yeah, it fits. I'm a big girl, honey. Oh, thank goodness he didn't see my titties. Uh, I'm a big girl. I got ass for days. I wonder if one of those fits, but I was gonna buy me some night clothes and stuff, but I was like, girl, stop. Girl, stop. I didn't come here to spend a whole bunch of money. I only came here to go shopping for Hawaii. So I got four outfits for Hawaii, but we're gonna be there for a week. So four, five, six, seven, I need three more outfits. And I don't feel like there's anything in my closet that I would take. I didn't see anything else there that I wanted. I'm more than likely gonna go to Ross. Um, just to get three dresses, like three cute dresses, and just call it a day, honey. Call it a day because I ain't going to get no Bottega, you know, just to impress y'all. I'm not gonna go buy no Bottega heels to wear on the beach, right? That doesn't even make sense. I don't even understand why girls be wearing Bottegas on the beach. Like, you trying too hard to impress people that don't give a damn. Well, they give a damn, clearly, but. Try too hard to impress people that don't even pay your bills. So I got food, hair supply, Hawaii shopping, bank account looking good. I got an appointment later tonight. Let's go home. Yeah, all right, y'all, we in a hot chair. You know how we go. So I'm about to do my hair and get ready for my appointment tonight. I'm gonna be using my cold 
wave rods that i bought earlier with my mousse from the beauty supply honey it's hmm you can see it you can see it huh, i know you can all right and you already know it's time to really drink oh crrr. Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.